everyone. My name is Jennifer Klitsky. Welcome to Naturally Gated. This is Makana. She's my 13-year-old Tennessee walking horse mare. A walk is a four-beat gait in the trotting horse. And when you ride dressage, you follow the head and neck of the horse in motion. So if you're riding um, a trotting horse at a walk, you follow the head and neck, the natural head and neck motion of the horse. You don't remain stationary like this and let the horse bash into your hands. That's not how it goes. So you, you follow the motion of the horse and you follow with your hip joints walking along with the belly sway of the horse and the rib cage rise and fall of the horse. So you're following the natural movement of the horse. Now, this is my opinion. The same would be true of a natural four beat flat walk or running walk is that if the head and neck is moving, that's a natural movement, you're gonna to wanna to follow that motion. So it doesn't need to be an overt motion, but you wanna move with the horse. You don't wanna prevent the horse from going forward in the way that you want it to go, you move with it. So some people ride their gated horse with floppy reins, I mean, that's one way to do it, but that's not dressage. Dressage is riding with contact in a snaffle bit. So, in order to ride with contact from the hindquarters through the back of the neck into the bit, the rider's gonna need to follow the motion. Following the motion in the walk, the free walk, the medium walk, the flat walk, the running walk, and the canter. So I'm, I'm following the natural head and neck motion. So what I'm also doing is I'm opening and closing my fingers. I'm not fixing my fingers like a fist. I'm opening and closing my fingers like rubber bands. And I'm noticing that is also helping um, make my horse move in a really nice, elastic, relaxed, and rhythmic way. What I was noticing and what Nicole noticed, the biggest thing, the biggest, one of the biggest takeaways in my riding she said I was very tense. I was very locked up here, locked up here. I was just really tense in my riding because I was trying to be still. Because a lot of people in the gated world say, oh, you have to be still. You have to show that that horse is smooth. Well, yeah, but <laughs> you also don't want to prevent your horse from moving um, fluidly. Because what I was doing was I was riding my horse in a perpetual half halt and by being like stiff all the time, just to be still. Uh, you don't want to do that. I mean, you're telling, because what was happening is I was telling my horse to stop and then I was squeezing my guts out to make my horse go. So I was really, really driving my horse with the brake and the gas pedal on at the same time, which was really frustrating my horse. It was frustrating me because I kept saying, why won't my horse go? Well, it's because I was telling her to stop at the same time I was telling her to go. So this was freedom. So I would say that the last year has been a real light bulb moment for me and my riding and my horse. She's a lot happier. She's got a lot more forward energy that's natural because I'm not stopping her with my body being like this. <laughs> so maybe I look a little sloppier when I ride, but I don't care because my horse is happier and she's moving better. So that's okay. So in a nutshell, what I've been doing in my riding I have been, first of all, relaxation in the mind and in the body, number one. Number two, balance. I want her to be equal or lighter here than here, so that I want her, you know, carrying more weight here so it lightens up her shoulders, frees up her shoulders to be, you know, able to be loose and allowing her head and neck to move in timing with their hindquarters. I want her to be balanced so that she's engaged back here, stepping deeper under her body, engaging her abdominals to lift her back to a neutral to slightly round position, which lifts up the withers, which makes her uh, lighter up front, and makes her so that when she steps, she's perpendicular to the ground and not leaning forward. I don't want her leaning forward because then she would be on the forehand. I don't want her pulling herself along and trailing back here. I want her stepping under and I want her to be marching up here. So 
those are the things of balance that I'm looking for. And then within that is connection. Connection in a rhythm, uh, a balanced, relaxed, engaged rhythm where the energy is coming through back here, through the um, engaged abs that lifts the back, through my following seat, my hip joints are moving side to side with her belly sway. Her rib cage is going like this as I'm riding. So my, my hip joints are following, they're walking along with that. And then my hands are like little rubber bands and my arms are moving along with a natural head and neck nod. So I'm moving along like that. And that's in alignment with her, with her head and neck all the way to the bit. So there is a connection, my hands to her bit, a very light connection. Thanks for joining us and come visit us at naturallygated.com.